Hi everybody, my name is Alan Hackman. I'm a group facilitator and I'm also a trainer. I teach group facilitation methods with ICA UK. I was teaching uh, today, we ran a course on action planning and I got one of the questions that we get all the time and that's to do with ICA's approach to what facilitation is. The ideal of group facilitation is that you're always neutral. You're an, you're an invisible tool of the group, um, only, ref, only being a supporter of the process um, and being completely unaware or, of, or neutral to the content of it. Well, that's great if that's what you want to do, but the, tr the true reality is that for a lot of people who come on our courses is that it's just not that easy. Almost everybody needs to combine their roles somehow. Very few of us are just pure facilitators. Most of the people who come on our training course want to use facilitation as a skill set, and they also need to be a manager or a team member or representative of their organization or whatever else. And so they are not actually easy, easily able to slip into being perfectly neutral in the role of a facilitator. So what do they do? They always ask me the same question. They always ask, Alan, so how do I be neutral when I am actually not neutral? And this is a really hard question, and facilitators get asked this question all the time, people learning facilitation methods. And we've got a couple answers, so I just wanted to make a quick short video to tell you some of my answers or some of my ways of thinking about it. First thing to say is that the answer here is don't. Don't pretend to be neutral. So I'm going to put that one up as the first one. Don't pretend to be neutral when you're not actually neutral. If you are, the group will see through it, they'll feel like you're abusing the process, and they won't trust you as a facilitator. So just don't. That's the first thing. So what can you do? Well, first thing I think to think about is that your job isn't actually to be neutral to the content. Your job is to be neutral in the role of the facilitator. And there's a couple ways that you can separate out your role as a facilitator from your other roles that you might have. There's a couple ways that I'll mention to you. One of them is uh, you can actually just separate out them in time. So I'm going to be a content expert now delivering a presentation. Take a break. Come back and, say, and announce to the group, OK, just so you all know, I had the information before, but now I want to get your input. I'm going to uh, hear from you and just be really clear about the distinction between your roles. I've actually seen somebody do this as well, which I thought was really good. Um, the facilitator I know, he said, ooh, um, I just want to pause there for a moment, and I'm going to step out of my role of a as a facilitator, and I just want to give you this bit of information that I think is really important. And then he told us the information, and he said, okay, now that that's in the room, I'm going to go back to being a neutral facilitator anymore. Now, you might like stepping or not, you might not, but what I think that was really good about that was that he was being extremely clear and open and honest about when he was being the neutral facilitator that we could trust to be, uh, to be hearing everybody's opinions and when he needed to put his oar in. He just made sure that we knew about it and that worked really well. All right, so here's some other things that you might try doing. One thing is trusting a friend to represent you. What does that mean? I think that means that if you're working with the group and you also have a lot of, um, uh, you also need to have some input into the content that they're discussing as well as the process, then you be the process person and you ask a friend, whoever it is, maybe your colleague, uh, maybe a volunteer, to represent your views as well as their own. Somebody who knows your views. Now, I feel like that could be done poorly if they're secretly doing it. So what I would like to do is actually announce it to the group, say, my job today is to be a neutral facilitator, but I know you all know that I actually have some opinions about this. So today I've asked Joe over here in the corner to help make sure that some of those views get across. But I'm going to do my very best to be um, fair to everybody's opinions and, and not let affect, that affect how I facilitate. And as long as you're open and honest about it, I think that's fine. Here's another thing you might try. You could trade the job of being the facilitator with somebody else. Maybe you have another person who you know who has the right, some of the right skills or training or methods to be a good facilitator, and you can trust them to actually do the work for your group. Well, you might may or might not be able to hire an external facilitator, but you might be able to arrange with somebody else who would be good at it to come and be the facilitator for your group. And you can even offer. You can say, I'll come and facilitate your group next week. I think that's a pretty good way to do that. And sometimes that happens as a result of finding people on the ICA course. So if you come on an ICA course, it might be a good way to make that kind of friend. One final idea about uh, the thing you can do to be in their role as a facilitator is about setting the right question. Because as a facilitator, you're meant to be neutral to the content, but one thing that you need to have some input in is what the question is that's actually being asked. And by choosing the right question, you can choose one that it's okay for this group to answer without having your input. Put some limits on it or be clear about what you're actually asking. Don't ask, um, what's your ideal meal? Instead say, what do you want tonight given what we have in the fridge, right? It's just a more limited question that they can answer with the, with the things that they have, uh, with the information that they have and the things that they know. And you don't need to jump in to say, hang on a minute, we're not buying filet mignon tonight, right? Or whatever your question is. 
So those are some of the ideas that I have about how we actually deal with this difficult dif uh, problem of how to be neutral uh, in the role of the facilitator when you're really not neutral. But I'd really like to hear from you as well. So um, I'm just going to put this one up there. This is what else? What other ideas might you have? Please do let us know in the comments. Or of course, definitely get in touch. Come on our training courses. Um, you can find out a lot more about what we do at ICA by visiting our website. So please do check in. ICA, it's at ICA-UK. Uh, .org.uk. So ICA-UK.org.uk. All right. Thanks, everybody. I would love to talk, so I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.